So what I've got here is a braking system that's commonly found in most cars. It's got a two brake pads, the inner and the outer. It's got a floating piston design and it's operated by Lego pneumatics. And it's not, you know, on the rotor yet, but I've got a rotor here. It's actually made out of metal. So Lego pneumatics has been around. It's nothing new and it's a very, very ingenious design Lego implements into some of their uh, creations. Very simple. You've got a selector lever. Um, you've got a, a manual air pump. And by pumping the air, you can actually control the uh, the piston on the other end. So you've got a master and you've got a slave. The slave reacts to the master. If you flip the lever in the other direction, it goes the other way. You can see how it could be used to stop a rotating mass. But let's see how much force one can actually exert. So I have no means of measuring the pressure via some type of numerical value. So I'll just use this little rubber thing. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's from Lego. We'll put it in the middle, see how much it compresses. And based off of that, let's see what kind of results we get. We'll do this manually. So first test is human powered. So I'm going to be physically uh, pumping the uh, master cylinder by hand. Right, so this time um, we're going to go for big. I've got myself a 12 volt um, tire inflator for a cigarette lighter. Let's see how much force uh, one of these things can produce. Right. It is quite strong, but it's almost uh, 15 watts of power just to compress the piston. I think we'll get more efficiency with hydraulics. So I've just got a bit of water and food coloring. I made my own fitting so I could fit the Lego pneumatic lines. It was never really intended for any hydraulics to go through the system. But it'll be quite interesting to see. Uh, first I've got to bleed the lines, so I've got to pump fluid so they come out both ends. The selector valve is not that airtight, it's leaking uh, fluid. So we've gotten rid of the selector valve because it was leaking. Uh, well, we actually don't need it because if you're moving fluid, you can actually pull a vacuum and the piston will react the other way. Uh, so we're just going to use a single line into one of the inputs and hopefully uh, it should work as intended. So if I pull a vacuum, it should... Uh, oh, is that right? If I pull a vacuum, it should... Yes, see it's almost instant instantaneous actually, pull it closer, there's no, uh, there doesn't need to be a constant source of uh, a pumping motion, you literally just got, um, there is some air inside, forgot to bleed it, but it doesn't seem to be leaking. Right, so the question is how much force can it produce? Will it be better or worse than the pneumatic? Uh, so I've got the little rubber thing in the middle again. Let's give it a go. Hopefully nothing pops. Right. I'm not even uh, using a lot of force. That's already a, a lot better. So I'm, I'm literally using just the tip of my finger to squeeze it. Right, it works, but the rotor is so wobbly. I guess the casting isn't too perfect.
Okay, so it seems like the outer brake pad is wearing more than the inner one. It's actually quite similar to a real car. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Now, the rest is just going to be me testing the brakes at full power with a drill. I was expecting some kind of smoke show, but I guess it's not going to happen. But nonetheless, enjoy the rest of the video. Right, well, the current design is not made to stop a drill, but it'd be quite interesting to make a version 2 uh, for a braking system that is quite uh, strong enough to stop a drill. But nonetheless, um, that's all I've got for you today. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this one. Uh, cheers, thanks.